Last year, everyone was talking about working from home and now people talk about working from the office again. But your employees today, they want to work from any place, from their home, from the office, from the beach or the park, from basically any place. Today, I have an expert with me, Dennis Kozak. He's the Chief Operating Officer at Ivanti, and he's here to talk about the latest developments in digital employee experiences. Welcome, Dennis. All right, thank you very much, Ron. Yeah, talking about digital employee experiences, um, finding and retaining the right talent, I think is a major challenge for companies today. Can digital employee experience help with this? And, and why do you think that it's important for organizations to pay close attention to this? Yeah, I think it's absolutely, it's a critical importance for not only for uh, employers to provide a great experience for their employees, but they have to recognize that it drives customer experiences, right? In, in terms of how all of their employees interact with customers and interact with each other, really a key driver of productivity. Yeah, so you were talking about increasing and improving the customer experience and where digital employee experience is, is really key to this. And you manage operation at Itivanti and you must um, optimize the performance. You want to keep your employees happy. You want to keep them motivated. Can you share your experience on, on the, let's say, based on your role, um, what the impact is of positive digital employee experience? Sure. Listen, for any employee, especially mine uh, in sales and marketing and operations, uh, access from wherever they're working to the corporate environment, access to information, access to in, uh, applications are, are critical for them to be productive employees. And what people often forget is they get excited about the device that they have. You know, maybe they have the latest iPhone or a Mac device or a Dell laptop. But the connectivity to the corporate environment and managing that connectivity for a seamless experience, right? Being able to log on from anywhere quickly and get the information you need is really the key driver. And people often forget that that's the IT infrastructure that's behind that. The second there's trouble, you remember that it's IT that's there, right? And the whole goal of providing a positive digital experience is to make sure that that's an absolute non-issue, no matter what task you need to perform. Yeah, and that's indeed, it's, it's critical. And you have it arranged very well, but you work with many different organizations. And what do you see when an organization does, does not have a digital employee experience as its key focus? Yeah, well, you see really, you know, very much, uh, obviously COVID drew a, a giant spotlight on what it means to be connected and productive, no matter where you work. And many organizations certainly had much tighter policies. People were located in an office inside the boundaries of a firewall, and they were very easy to access uh, all of their uh, applications and data. Uh, when everybody went home, uh, you know, while many companies already had a posture to allow for remote work, it became the new normal, right? It became the work from anywhere, work from home uh, mentality that re uh, IT functions realized and enterprises realized that would sustain probably forever. And so therefore it drove a permanent change in the way you think about your posture in terms of how people will access your environment. And you know, that will not ever go away because they are used to these things, you know, very few functions, you know, particularly in uh, B2B type environments, you know, you really can be anywhere. And, and the last two years have taught us that. And so while that will sustain, whether we do go back to offices part-time or we go to co-locations or we join for hybrid meetings or physical meetings, you know, nonetheless, you're still going to have to contend with all of the challenges around people accessing data from different points. Yeah, you addressed already accessing data, accessing applications outside, outside of your organization. When I discuss new projects at enterprises, the first question that I get is, um, what's the impact on security? So also the question for you, um, do you get any questions for digital experience projects on security as well? Sure. Well, security is, is top of mind to everybody, especially in these current times, you know, with cyber attacks uh, never seeming to go away. You know, every time you turn around, you see a new headline in the Wall Street Journal. That's the last place any company wants to see their name associated with a cyber attack there. Um, so security is something that has to be, you know, one of those postures that you can tighten things down and then limit access, but it impacts productivity. So you have to develop a strategy that really allows you to have, you know, the right amount of access at the right amount of time. 
And probably more importantly, when you think about endpoint management and you think about all of the different uh, software uh, components that are present on an endpoint, and how do you decide what patch to prioritize right, at the right time, you know, either to limit productivity, to limit impacts, negative impacts to productivity, or to make sure that you prioritize the most critical impacts uh, to a security posture for your enterprise? Yeah, I think as well. Security is a prerequisite. There's no discussion about it, but the experience is something that needs to be improved. Thank you, Dennis. A great examples of, of how IT solutions can improve the experiences of the employees and in that context also the customer experience and where people learn to work from anywhere to deliver the best customer experience. Thank you. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.